This is crazy! Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. I'm Andrus. And today's a special day. Today we get to check out Andrus's first FT design that's going to be available. Yeah, so this is the FT X29, which is a, uh, a jet. And you yeah. can actually build it as either an EDF or a prop version. Yeah, yeah, this takes a 70 millimeter or what do you say, 64? Or 64, yep. Awesome. Or you can power from the uh, the seat pack with a four cell. Exactly. Which is also pretty good as well, too. We're going to be working with Motion RC in the near future to come up with an EDF power pack that can work across all future EDF planes. So look for that coming soon. But right now, we're going to go ahead and put these up in the air. Yeah. And uh, Anders, this is beautiful because you actually walked in the day of your first day with us, right? Yeah, I still remember that. And it was actually in a vlog episode. Yep. Um, yeah, walked in first day with this thing. And here we are, you know, at the end of the summer with the uh, design complete. Yeah, this already was beautiful to begin with, the way it flew and everything, but one thing Andrews put a lot of heart in is how it builds, and we'll talk about that more once we get in the air. So both these models are pretty advanced models here, so we're gonna talk about launching techniques. With the EDF, you don't want to just kind of toss it in the air, right? No, yeah, for the EDF especially, uh, it doesn't generate a lot of static thrust, so you do want to get a good chuck to get up in the air. Awesome, we're gonna do that, what, about 30, 45 degrees? Yeah, sounds about right. All right, we're into the wind. All right, you ready? Yep. <laughs> Nice launch, man. <laughs> See my little toe flick up there? <laughs> yeah, with this guy here, we have a little bit more of a challenge here because the torque is going to want to roll it very easily. So get up to about what, three quarters full throttle? I'd say so, yeah. And the key is to uh, not pulse the throttle, not punch the throttle after you release it because then that's when it torques over. Yep, and air is speed, air is control. We're going to want plenty of air going over here. So, Stefan, give me about 30, 45 degree angle 30, 45 up. 45 degree angle. And a nice hard prop. Boom. Yeah. Shoving in the air. Yep, and watch Done. out for that prop. Yep. Are you ready, Frank? Yep. And there Damn. we go. <laughs> Jeez, nice save. Oh my dude. goodness. So yeah, <laughs> one thing you want to know, um, you're gonna want to have a friend launch this, especially for you, like you know your maiden flight, second flight, whatever, until you get a lot more comfortable. Oh with the plane. my! <laughs> but yours has pretty much no torque, huh? Yeah, that's the nice thing about the EDF is when you throttle up, like when you punch the throttle, it won't torque over on you because the plane has a pretty short wingspan for its length. Uh, yeah. So with the prop version, you just have to watch out and just couple the ailerons a little bit with the throttle. Ooh, nice. Ooh. I feel like, honestly, every time I turn, I feel like it might go in the right direction because the wing's <laughs> sweeping forward. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you remember some of the history about this? This is actually a NASA design, right? Yeah, it, um, NASA actually built two of them for like experiments and stuff. Uh, basically just testing out uh, the stability of canards for swept wings. And they did a lot of testing with composite materials too. Okay. So this was actually one of the earlier planes to use carbon fiber composites okay. in its design. And that was basically just to stop the uh, the Ford swept wings from torquing over sure. and flapping down. So we kind of took a little bit of liberties here. I'm flying a black one. There is a Russian jet that has a similarity, but it has twin tails. We were trying to figure out how do we paint this? So we figured we need to have like kind of a nemesis. Yep, so yours is painted like the, the SU-47? Yes, but you know, it wouldn't be hard to modify it to make it look like that, would it? No. A couple, couple really. subtle changes and stuff, but the most iconic thing is it had two fins. Right, now, balance you... is crucial with this plane, right? It is, yeah. So on the bottom of the fuselage when you're building it, uh, whether it's the kit or the you know scratch build on the plans, you'll see that there's two dots underneath the fuselage where the canards are. And those two dots, those two holes, is where the CG is. And it's uh, very crucial to get the right CG because if it's tail heavy, it won't fly at all, and if it's nose heavy, it won't fly well. I think right now I'm right in the neutral balance here yeah. with uh, nose heavy and tail heavy. I think the next battery, I'm going to shift that battery further forward. Awesome, man. Yeah. And we're finding some pretty good wind here. What's kind of weather and I guess what kind of skill set do you think you need for this plane? It's definitely an intermediate to advanced plane. Uh, you don't want to be a beginner, you know, second or third plane flying this. Now, if you have a good grasp on aileron's control and, you know, banking yank, it's a great plane for you. We get up a little bit out of the wind. The profile of this is gorgeous. And one thing I really love is uh, anyone that knows me knows I love simple builds, I love quick builds, something that gives people good experience. You went the full other direction to really show what amazing things you can do with foam board. And uh, this is really a work of art, but you also Thanks, man. put most of the summer into trying to make sure it could be built easily, right? Yeah, so there are a lot of versions of this, you know, a lot of the uh, later versions was just tweaking the design to make it a little bit easier to build because the first ones were, you know, definitely a little bit tougher. The roll rate on this is hysterical. Yeah. <laughs> and the pitch is a little bit docile, huh? It is, yeah. Um, the cool thing, though, is if you have your rate set correctly and uh, you pull, like, full up in a turn or pulling up into a loop, okay. it'll actually kind of slide into it like a real jet does. So that was kind of neat. 
as a presence of a much heavier model. Exactly, yeah. All right, my battery's getting pretty low here, so yeah, I'm gonna go. bring it in. Yeah, I'll go ahead and land mine here, and we'll uh, put some fresh batteries in it. Sounds good. Now, one thing you said with landing, especially the prop one, is just kind of own the, uh, the landing, right? Right, uh, especially with the prop one, because if you try to punch the throttle on landing with the prop, uh, it'll just torque over real hard on you. With the EDF, it's a little bit better, but generally, you just want to, you know, line up that uh, landing real nice and just get it in one just, go. Just walk it in. Exactly. Yep. Very cool. All right, so Anders, we're going to have a little fun and games? Yeah, a little bit of sketchy fun and games. Sketchy fun and games. All right, so we're not using the prop version right now, unless we crash this one, uh, because <laughs> our friend Stefan, who's a shop style out there, he's uh, yep. he's holding a streamer. Yeah, and even though it's a pusher, we just you know, don't want to risk it. Pointy in. Big prop, not a good thing. The goal is we're gonna see how many times as, as Stefan slowly kind of lowers the limbo stick down, we can get underneath in one battery. Yep. <laughs> Are you sure you can let me go first? Wait, what? Sure. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Everything is a yes, remember? <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, Dude, this is crazy. All right, let me feel this thing out. I've only been flying your prop one here. Yeah, that's true. Have you even flown the EDF one yet? Nope. So this is, okay, so you're already at disadvantage here. Nice, dude. There's one. Oh, this is crazy. Oh. I almost hit Jeremy, but we don't need to tell him that. <laughs> you know, wasn't Stefan making fun of me earlier? He was, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <He's there too. laughs> nice and stable, dude. This is crazy. I like the EDF more. All right, how much lower? Right about there? <laughs> yeah, <there's three. laughs> this is awesome. Limbo only, with EDF jets, who would have thought? You only have about five feet to play with right here. <laughs> nice! <laughs> this is so cool! I told Anders he gets to take this plane home with him. I'm just trying not to think about how low this string is. <laughs> nice! Dude, <laughs> rock solid, dang! <laughs> this is such a great plane. I'll be honest, okay, anyone that wants to take the time to build the EDF, build the EDF. The prop drive is awesome. You got, I think it got a little bit more push, but the EDF is yeah. so cool to like throttle it in. Plus you don't have all that, you know, torque messing with you. All right, so this is like, what, three feet-ish? Two and a half feet? Oh! No! Oh, Here. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my God. All right, I don't know how nice, many times dude. that was, but it's still one piece. That's a miracle in itself. You ready, Anders, you ready? Yeah, you ready dude. do it? All right, let's do it. Let me try this. Ready? Yeah. All right, limbo one. Anything else, this would be pretty easy, but a jet's a little bit of a different beast, huh? Yep. Oh, that's one. That's beautiful. Yeah. Man. <laughs> almost ran into that camera. I was going to say, you almost killed the camera. Yeah, I got to watch out for that next time. Well, you can't stress it enough. It's windy. This is an advanced airplane. Um, you're doing really good, man. <laughs> Thanks, man. The nice thing is it handles high alpha pretty well, like not an extreme uh, angle, but just a little bit slows down pretty nice. When you're flying this in calm weather and stuff, you were really walking it around, weren't mm -hmm. you? Yeah. It's a little bit windier today, but down low it's still not bad. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh man. man. <laughs> Ooh, that's talk about awesome. a, yeah, We're not using a very powerful uh, EDF in this one, so yep. it doesn't have as much power as we'd like. 70 millimeter, uh, what, what Motion RC is working on is going to be pretty impressive. Also, if you guys haven't seen, now check out Ben Harbor. He's a great part of our community. He's designing some amazing EDFs. We're gonna try to find an EDF that works both for the Vigan, this design, but also Ben's as well, too. Oh man, Josh is lowering it right now. <laughs> oh man. Yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, all right, how much lower can it go? Dude, if you do this, I'll buy you ice cream. Dude, stop, okay, deal. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, Make that mint chocolate chip. <laughs> mint chocolate chip? Yep, okay, uh, I honestly don't know how this is gonna go, guys. At high alpha, the way you've been, I don't even know how you can clear this space. Plus, like, my, uh, my battery's about to die. So I think I might just land after this one regardless. Oh! <laughs> that counts! <Yeah>. That counts! <laughs> All right, mid chocolate oh. chip ice cream. It doesn't even matter because you're limboing under this oh with a jet gosh. in windy weather. You know what? 
that handled it a lot better than I actually expected because I did do some high awful like testing before, but not that much, you know? Dude, you just throttled in there. Anders, that was an absolute blast, brother. It really was, fine with you, man. Oh, thanks. You know, one of the best parts about Anders is getting to spend the summer with him, uh, getting to see his heart for the community, heart for aviation, and also the great things he's designed in here. Uh, this is not gonna be the last of what you see with Anders, but you got a lot of school going on. Yep, got school uh, until next summer comes around. And uh, speaking of school, we have something very special. As always, anything that we design, whether it's a community release or whether it's a design in-house, we always give away free plans, but we also do the speed build kits. And the majority of that is what supports us in doing about five episodes a week. But we're gonna do something even more special. If you guys aren't aware, we have something called FT STEM. And with FT STEM, it's a K through 12 curriculum. It heats all 21 national standards, uh, but we wanna also fund this FT STEM program mm -hmm. through our community and the revenue we join. There's something called a Take Flight Initiative, and we already have three amazing products, the Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie Jet. But since our friend Andres here is in school, we are also gonna use this for part of the Take Flight Initiative. Yep. So when you purchase one of these speedboat kits, you're not only supporting flight tests, but you're supporting schools as well. Look for links below to tell you the whole story about the, how the Take Flight Initiative works and also about FT STEM. Uh, Andres, thanks so much, man. This has been awesome. Thanks, man. <laughs> Very cool. So guys, it's now available in our stores. Also, check for our build video where Andres did a killer job walking you through step-by-step step on how to build this airplane. We'll see you next time.